you know, when you look at the, you know, price floor and price ceiling, you see that if, for example, price floor means that you cannot go below it. I mean, just you cannot make transactions below this price floor. But it does not mean that you are not able to make transactions above this price. For example, we said that, okay, we don't have this, no problem. Anyways, no, for example, price floor. Let's go with the price floor. So it, it's written there with a P sub F. When government sets a price floor, it simply means that if you want to employ somebody legally, you are not allowed to pay them less than PF, price PF, okay? But it does not mean that you just have to pay exactly this number. You understand my point? For example, we, in our example, it was uh, 450. It doesn't mean that you have to pay 450. You could pay 500, you could pay 600, you could pay 1,000, no problem. But the, the price floor is, you know, price floor just sets the floor. You are not allowed to go the beneath or below this rate. And also, same is, even though it's not, uh, you know, realistic, even though it's not, you know, just, it doesn't happen in real life, but it means that you are not allowed to, on the price ceiling, please look at the price ceiling. It says that you are not allowed to go, you know, yeah, above this price. So what does it mean? It means that if, for example, if we said in our example it was 200, if you want to do it, if you want to do it uh, below the 200, you could do that. If you have a house and if you want to uh, rent it to somebody with 150, you can do it, no problem. There's not any, you know, how you say, there's not any obligation for, for, the, for that one. It's not mandatory that or it's not compulsory that you are not allowed to offer a price that's lower than the price sale. So it simply means that you could offer a price as a supplier. If you supply the rental housing prices, if you supply the rental, uh, rental houses, it means that you are, you know, you could, you know, offer a, uh, prices lower than that. But it means that you are not allowed to pass this price. You are not allowed to offer the price that's higher than that. You understand my point? So, and in, in, in Turkey, for example, let's give uh, as an example. In Turkey, generally, government buys, government buys not. You know not, Turkish not? Not. Uh, yeah. So how they do that? You know, Turkey is, a, is one of the, you know, main exporters of nut. Yeah, they, they export this nut and they make a lot of money. So, in any market, let's say that it is the nut market in 2009 and smart, it's the nut market for 2011. In, as the crop is very poor, in the 2009, let's say that uh, per kilograms of the nut is, let's say that three dollars, okay? And in 2000, I mean, it means that there is a poor crop. Production of nut, because maybe it's the bad weather conditions or so on, whatever the reason, we don't know. But the production is very, you know, uh, yeah, production is very low. Because of this reason, uh, equilibrium price is very high. But when, it's the, when it comes to, you know, 
yeah, 2,000 white. There is a huge amount of huge amount of crop, not crop. So in this market, there still will be there still will be equilibrium. But equilibrium will be with these amounts, 0 0.5 point dollars. It means 50 cents. So you already know that, you already know that if prices is that low, what's going to not farmers will go next week, next year? Yeah, most probably if, if it goes on one or two years back to back, they will think that they, they, are, they can't make enough profit on the not business or not agriculture. So what are they going to do? They will move away. They will move away. They will substitute, they will substitute other production in place of not production. Maybe they, they will start to, you know, uh, produce cot cotton or cultivate cotton or wheat or so on. Yes. But as we know that, as we know that, Turkey is one of the main exporters, is one of the main exporters, then it simply means that government will not want not prices to go down that much. You understand my point? Because it's climate, Turkey's climate is very suitable for this production, not production, and it's very delicious. They sell it. They make money, and so on. So because of this reason, they don't want, you know, just this production or not production goes down or decrease or substitute with any other, I mean, agricultural productions. So what they will do in this case, in this case, government says that I am going to buy the nuts. And to buy the nuts, minimum wages Minimum wages, for example, let's say that let's say that they calculate it, and they say that they say that, for example, it is 1.8 dollars. Government says that it is a price floor. It's a price floor. Government announced this. Government and it every year in Turkey it happens. And it's very crucial information. All the agricultural farmers, all the people who cultivate nut, they are waiting for this announcement because it's very crucial for their decision for the next year. It's very you know, crucial information whether they will stay in business or they will leave. So every year, government announces this number. They say that minimum price, it's a price floor, minimum price in this market will be $1.8, for example. So in this case, simply you know that, what's going to happen? Yeah. There will be an increase in supply, there will be a decrease in demand. And there is a surplus. Let's say that it is 20,000 tons, it is 30,000 tons, and it is uh, yeah, 16,000 tons. So it means that we are having a, we are having a 14,000 tons of surplus. In Turkey example, what's going to happen to the surplus? Exactly. Government says that, okay, go to the market, I announce this price, and the minimum wage, minimum wage in the market, not market, will be 1.8 dollars. So it means that if you want to sell and buy, you know, uh, the nut, the minimum wage legal price is that. But if somebody offer more than that, it could be no problem. But you are not allowed to go below this price. And in the in the nut example for Turkey, what's the facilitating, you know, uh, issue for the surplus? Government says that there will be a surplus in the market. No problem. I'm going to buy it. 
So if there is excess amount of nuts produced, then government says that it's no problem. I will buy it. And then if government buy this surplus, what's going to happen? There will not be any surplus in the market. Okay? If government buys the surplus, then it means that there will not be any, you know, surplus in the market. You understand these issues? It's very important. And it's a real life example. Every year when you, you know, just, uh, uh, if, you, if you looked at the news on Turkey, I mean, Turkey newspapers, Turkey televisions, they come, they say that, the, you know, government announced the price floor for the nuts and farmers don't like it, farmers like it, or, or so on. The debate, I mean, public debate every year rolls over this price, whether it will be too low, whether it will be satisfactory, or whether it will be very high. You understand my point? So, in this case, for example, we definitely know that price floor, as from this graph and from your previous knowledge, you know that definitely and very definitely price floor will create, price floor will cause a surplus. And in this, you know, real life example in Turkey, government buys this surplus and then there is no any surplus. Everybody is happy. Yeah, let's go with you. Say, when there is surplus and shortage, by the competition, by demanders and suppliers, so this surplus is eliminated by the government. Thank you very much. Demand Yeah, in this case, of course, what, what, what do we need in this case? We need demand. Government replaced the demanders which does not exist. Government says that you produce 30,000 tons of nut, but the demand is just only 16,000. So you need the demanders which will buy the 14,000 uh, tons of not uh, of the surplus. Government says that, okay, I'm going to buy it. Don't panic. Okay, everything will be fine. If, it is, if you are not able to sell it, government says that go to the market and sell it from this price. Because I announced this price as a price floor. It is obligatory, mandatory, and so on, the price. So government says that everybody should transact, everybody should exchange, buy and sell the nuts from this price. If you are not able to sell, bring it to me. I will be demanded. Just not because of the demand and because of the transaction. Yeah, because of the, maybe it could be a strategic, you know, strategic uh, purpose. For example, let's say this one in the wheat. You know, wheat is strategic uh, product. product. Why? Because it is the main, you know, uh, especially we, we eat a lot of bread, you know. For example, we, when you go to other countries, they just eat uh, small bread, but we eat a lot of breads, and they just uh, watch us with a freaky uh, face or so on. So it simply means that, it simply means that food, as it is food, uh, as it is food, uh, you know, it's main, you know, raw material of the food. What's going to be do? Of course, government says that if there's a problem, I will buy it. No problem. Okay? It makes sense? Does it make sense? Yeah, they generally do that. For example, they buy it, they, they store it, and if they have a, uh, you know, they have a chance, they export it and they make money, they do it in a government way, or they give it to soldiers. For example, in Turkey, they do that. For example, the, if there's a lot of orange this, this year, they buy a lot of orange and they give it to soldiers. And soldiers in the morning, in the you know, afternoon, in the night, they eat orange, 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 like that. Okay? Like, yeah, I have you have a question. Go ahead. Uh, this, it, uh, this is a minimum price uh, the government uh, said at 1.5 million. Yeah. Uh, what uh, does government do when the price is uh, higher than Government doesn't do anything. Uh, and the suppliers don't do, uh, uh, sell it higher. They want to so when the price go up, for example, let's say that you know government announced this one, and let's say that you are a, a not seller. Okay, you have a very you have a very uh, good talents about marketing. Somebody comes to you and you want to sell them, you know, uh, this this nut. What you do? As you are a very good marketer, you explain that this nut is very special nut. It has a very high quality. If you eat it, you go to this, you know, space, come back, or so on. <laughs> many, many other things. 
what's going to happen? Maybe you will make the deal, maybe you will make the deal with the $2.5, okay? But the idea is that still there is demand. Still there is demand. So maybe you will sell just the tiny numbers, but still there is demand. Demand is not zero, okay? Just a little, okay. Uh, for example, a farmer has a surplus amount of nut and goes to the government and says that uh, I uh, sell it, for example, uh, three dollars. Uh, $3. And the government uh, will buy it or reject it. Uh, the, the, the idea is that government announced this number, government says that don't sell below this number. It's not below. Three dollars. Okay, I, I will explain. Government says that don't sell the nuts below this number. If you are not able to sell it, I mean just, uh, if you are not able to sell it, bring it to me. I will buy it from this uh, price. <coughs> yeah, only for this price. So, I mean, for example, in the minimum wage, of course, somebody could offer uh, above this price. But in the, in the price floor for the agricultural products, as it's announced, as government will buy it, government applies this price, okay? So you see, when you go to the real life, there is different options. But we, we just try to uh, give the initial recognition about a kind of introductory. You understand my point? Does it make sense? Let's go with Elgin. Mm -hmm. No, the idea is that the main solution we, we mentioned about this is that you can export it. You can export it, yeah. You can export it, or government keep it, keep it for the you know for the future, or they they just use for their own you know own programs, own other other kind of things. Okay, so uh, I think uh, we with these expressions, I mean with these explanations, we have concluded the uh, price selling. I mean price controls, price selling, and price floor. So I can we can go back to other topics. Thank you very much for your contribution. Okay.